Hi, this is Simon from JubileeInformation.com. This is the third in the series of very quick tutorials I'm doing on Artisteer. Um, Artisteer have just released a new version, version 4. It creates templates for Joomla, WordPress, HTML, as well as other applications, but I'm, I've only used them on those three applications. It works very, very well. I think it's a great program, that's why I'm doing these quick tutorials. So, um, the first two tutorials I did was for the home and edit tab. So if you haven't seen those, I suggest you go back to my channel and watch them. They're free. Um, and what we're going to do today, I'm going to jump across to the header tab and explain how that works. The header tab, um, they've, um, what's the word? They have made it a lot more flexible. Um, I think it's uh, very good for creating headers. So let's just go across and see what we've got. So having selected the header section, you can see that the, the tab here then becomes active, very much like if you're using Microsoft Word, it works in a very similar way. As with all of the tabs, you can always suggest a header or you can suggest a color. Um, you'll find there's a, a, this little suggest um, option in all of the tabs. It's very, very good if you get stuck, if you get uh, designer's cramp. OK, um, so looking along the tab here, we've got a position so we can change the position of our header. So at the moment, we've got our menu options on the top here. So we could actually change that. So those menu options are at the bottom. OK, so you can see in the second that will change. There we go. So our menu options have changed there. So you can go through. You can have the header within the, the size of the um, the sheet that we've got here or you can have it going right across okay moving across to the next section here we can change the colors so at the moment it's transparent it's seeing the background um, image that it's got so if we change the color you'll be able to see here um, that there we go we can see how far the head is going across might not be the I'm not going to sort of do a design here I'm just showing you the functionality so you can set the transparency and you can add effects so there's lots of different effects some of them um, if you add something like the cloud effect here um, they're good. It depends on what your client wants. wants. Um, I think they're a bit cartoony. However, if you um, scroll down, you can see there's different um, types here. We've used them on different websites. Some of them work really well. Okay, so things like stripes and things, you can see you get a nice sort of warm texture there. Gives you lots of different options. So you can see the flexibility of this system. You can grab a template that uh, artists have created and you can start to go into each section and really change um, the look and feel of it. So I, I think that starting off the template, in my opinion, is the best way to, to create um, a design for your website. You, so you've got a sort of an idea there in front of you. You've got a color scheme. You can see how it looks and then you can start to go in there and tweak it and change it. The next option then is the background image. So currently, yet again, you've got these nice swirls, you've got these different um, uh, effects. So you can see here lots of options. Now, if you scroll down, you can see here um, we've got some sort of uh, nice, look at that, that's lovely, isn't it? Look at the color of that, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Right, so coming moving down here, we've got some pictures. Now, um, be aware, I think that Artistia states that these pictures are copyright free. I think you can use them if, um, I think, now you'll have to obviously go to Artistia's website and check out, but I think you can use them if you're a charity site or if you're not going to use your website for commercial purposes. However, um, if you're going to use, um, if you're designing websites for your clients or you're doing it for yourself, it's on a commercial basis, then um, as always, I'd always recommend you um, source your own uh, copyrighted pictures either create them yourself we always create our own my wife um, works with me she's a very good photographer so she creates a lot of the images then we actually use um, different um, software packages such as Picasa we use PaintShop Pro um, and other software packages to actually create the images for us. so I would definitely not use copyrighted pictures from the internet because I've watched or read a lot of forums where people have got caught using copyrighted pictures. I always use original and I believe as I say that um, any of the pictures here on Artist here are um, covered by copyright. The um, One of the biggest movements or move forwards is the ability to add shapes. Now if I select one of these here, so let's imagine we're creating a website for a travel blog like it says here and let's pretend we've got a special offer. So I'm going to grab this shape um, and I'm going to move it across over to the right hand side and then I'm going to change the color so where do we change the color sometimes in artist here some things are not quite obvious um, change the color of the shape you go across here to the right hand tab here and then we select the fill color so I'm going to select red and then I'm going to type in here special offer okay let's pretend it's a special offer um, cheap deals so you can see here I've got now yet again um, 
I'd obviously line this all up properly. I'm just showing you the functionality of it. What you can do then is you can go in there and change the, the, the color of the, the text. Let's change to black. See, once I click outside there, you see. Now what I'd also do is probably, um, let's, let's um, what do we want to do here? You can see I, I can change the size so I can make it bigger or I can make it smaller. Okay, so you can see there. So I can set it up. So what I could then do is I could add an image to that. And so, I mean, I haven't done a very good job there. It looks pretty pretty naff from a sort of design point of view, but I'm really just showing you the functionality and, and the flexibility of the system. So here, um, I've done a very quick tutorial. I've shown you how to add a shape. I've shown you how to, to, to move the menu options around so you can have them at the top and bottom. I've shown you how to change the background of that. Um, yet again, over here, you can see, um, if you remember looking at the other tutorials I've done, if you click on this little option here, you get further options. So you can see here that's for the um, different uh, widths of the header and where the menu options can go. And yet again, I can click on this suggest header and it'll change, it'll come up with its own suggestion. So you can see they look completely different. Um, sometimes, um, although I think the suggestion um, options are really good sometimes they can be pretty radical so you can see that it's completely changed it so if you wanted to tweak a slight um, area I'd suggest you do it manually so thank you ever so much for listening to me um, what I suggest you do is subscribe to my channel because I will continue to put more tutorials on here obviously eventually I will run out of tutorials for artists here but then we'll move on to tutorials for other software that's uh, relevant to Joomla so thank you very much um, suggest you download a copy of your um, Artistia version 4 for yourself using the link down below. What will happen? Click on that link, it'll take you to a page in Artistia's website. Scroll down to the bottom of that page and then click on the link. You get a free trial so you can try out all these things. Um, and I think you'll find once you um, really start to like it, especially if you've got clients that you're creating websites for, you'll suddenly realize what a great piece of kit this is. Thanks so much. Bye.